Welcome back to the YDF Live Show. My name is Stephen Aitchison, creator of YourDigitalFormula.com, a program to help you become the influencer that you are. Okay, I want to show you, there's two people I've come across kind of over the last week that are doing fantastically with the power of their community. And the first one I want to talk about is a guy called Max Lee. And I'm going to show you kind of his YouTube page just now. So this is not in the normal kind of online business world. This is, um, well, there's, there's one in the online business world and there's one Max Lee who's in the cryptocurrency world, but it shows you the power of kind of community. And I want to show you kind of his page on um, YouTube first. Okay, so I'm going to go over to there just now. Hopefully this works okay. And you should see videos. And this is Max Lee. Just now. And you'll be able to see kind of his video. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is Max from Highland Point, where we get oh, all kinds of coins before I begin this now. So that's Max Lee, and what he's done over the last week or something, he kind of writes about cryptocurrency and everything about cryptocurrency, he invests in cryptocurrency. Um, uh, if you don't know what cryptocurrency is, it's just kind of coins, like bitcoins, but there's thousands of coins out there, and you can invest in them, they go up in price and you make money, or you go down in price, you keep holding or hodling, as the crypto world says. And there's a few ways to make money on kind of cryptocurrency. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the power of community. So what Max did is he set up a coin. I'll just go back. He set up a channel on Slack. If you've never heard of Slack, it's just a channel where everybody can get together and they can talk in one place. And it's a brilliant kind of tool for building up your community as well. Although we've got Facebook, we use Facebook groups for that. But Slack is a community where it's kind of real world and you're kind of talking at the time and everybody's in there. So he set up a Slack channel with about 100 people that joined it, first of all, and I was one of the, the first um, kind of people that was um, joined it. And he said, listen, guys, I'm going to, I've found a coin. Um, they've got a really good development team. They've got a really good um, kind of concept for a coin that they're doing just now. He says, I'm going to invest in it big time because I can make money on it if I buy a master note. And that's another way to make money on coins. If you have a master node, you buy so many coins and you can kind of upload it to a server and you kind of make money that way. It gives you maybe two or three coins a day. But it's worth it. If the price goes up, the more money you make. So Max told the group this. He said, listen, I'm going to buy these coins, um, but I'm going to hold them. I'm not going to kind of pump the price up and then sell. I'm going to buy and hold or hodl. And so he did that, and but he told the community first exactly what he was going to do. He was open, he was transparent, he was honest about it, very genuine guy. And he bought these coins and he went up in price from eight cents, um, and he kind of pushed it up, and then it went up to ten cents, sixteen cents, twenty cents, uh, forty cents is when I got and I managed to buy them at forty cents. And the whole group kind of followed Max into doing this, but what Max did is he kind of encouraged the group, his community, to hold the coin so it would hold its price. So it would keep on going up. So we as a community would buy this coin. There's only 14 million coins out there of this particular coin called Chain Coin. And so we started buying and holding and getting master nodes. And if you've got a master node, you have to hold coins in there anyway. And the price shot up from 8 cents to about, I think it's peaked at $1.20. So it's went up over kind of 900%. At the moment, it's up 900% from where it was last week. And that was the power of Max Lee. That's what he did. He got his community together and he said, I'm going to do this. And he, he, he let the community join in with him as well. So it was amazing to see um, that happening. And it was in real time. We were kind of watching as the price was going up and up and up. Obviously, it comes back down, but it goes back up again as more and more people come on board. So he started the Slack channel with about 100 kind of members in there. It's now got about 800 members in there because of the community and because of he was genuine. He was an honest. He is an honest guy, funny as well, and he's just got a good following. But you can see here, 
Oh, you can't see there, but he's got six and a half thousand subscribers on YouTube. But what he's done to that company, Chaincoin, it was before he got into it and got his community into it. It had a market capitalization of about 1.4 million. And now it's got a market, market capitalization of about $10 million just now. Because one guy in the community pushed the price up of that coin and kept on holding. And they're going to keep on holding for a long time. And eventually that coin could go up in price. If you think of it like the stock market, but it's not really like the stock market, but that's probably the neatest analogy of it. Um, but that is the power of community. And that's what I always can encourage you to do. Build up your community, get to know them. Like Max Lee is on every single day, probably twice a day. He's on talking to his community. He's in the Slack channel as well, talking to his community as well. And it's just amazing to watch him in action and to watch the community in action as well. It's really, really brilliant to see. Now, if you've got any questions for the end of this, I'll try and get them um, to the questions at the end. I can't, no, I normally get the questions from Maria, but unfortunately, I can't get to any questions. So, the power of community, what does it take? Obviously, the first thing with Max Lee, who we're looking at here, genuine, honest, authentic. So that was one thing, very genuine, very authentic, very open and honest as well. And number two, he built up the community around about him and he kept talking to his community. So communication with his community as well, every single day. And he's on, he must be, I don't know how much, how many hours sleep he gets, but he must get about three or four hours sleep um, because he's talking about coins all the time. That's his passion. That's what he loves to talk about. And that's what the community loves to talk about as well. So you've got something there as well that somebody loves to talk about or a community loves to talk about. So Facebook and the YDF tribe, people love to talk about Facebook and how to build up the page and they love to talk about online business and how to make products, how to do blogging, how to do email marketing. It's all in there as well and people are passionate about that. So that's how you build up the community. Once you find your passion, once you find your niche and once you find a community of people who are really into what you're into as well, you become the leader and they start following you. And that's what's happened with the YDF tribe as well. And you know, if you're in the YDF tribe, it's just an amazing tribe. I know I keep saying that, but it is just an, an absolutely amazing tribe. And by the way, if you're in the YDF tribe, we've updated the YDF modules. We've updated the structure of the YDF modules and we put a brand new one in there as well called YDF Mindset. So if you've not been in there, if you're in the YDF tribe, go in and log in to your Kajabi account and you'll see the, new, the brand new structure of YDF. So just that's just a wee kind of heads up. The second person I wanted to look at is, I'm just going to try and find a page just now, is a woman called Molly Mahoney. And she's called, she's got a page called The Prepared Performer. So I'm just going to show you this just now. I'll go back over again. And hopefully you can still see and hear me okay. So we're on Molly's page just now. This is Molly Mahoney, and she's got a page called the, the Prepared Performer. However, if you look at the number of likes she's got on her page, you can see here 5,994. Now you'd think that wouldn't be that much if you wanted to kind of make money online. And a lot of people in the YDF tribe, a lot of people outside of the YDF tribe as well, saying, oh, I've only got 1,000 likes, or I've only got 10,000 likes or something. But Molly Mahoney has found a niche. And I'm going to show you Molly Mahoney. Now, I have to prepare you because watching Molly Mahoney is like taking six shots of cappuccino or something, or six shots of kind of coffee. So I'm going to show you just now. Molly, we are going to dive in to some amazing bot strategies. So what the heck is a bot? Well, it's just like any other business. It's a way to automate your Facebook Messenger so that you can connect with amazing people like Bree, like Julie. Woo! Okay, if you have no sound, I want you to click on the video. I've got the sound. And that's Molly Mahoney. And now she's got the page of Prepared for Performer, but she teaches people how to use ManyChat or the bot. You know the bot for Messenger, where you can automatically subscribe people to a list or subscribe people to your Messenger list. And she teaches people how to do that. And she's become an expert on it over the last six months or so. 
And on one of her live shows, I think she got about 38,000 views on this one, actually. She got 38,000 views because she was kind of sending this video that she's on just now, she was sending that through the messenger bot and she teaches people how to do that. And I'll put the pages up after this live as well. And you'd think with 5,000 likes, you'd think, mm, yeah. she's not going to make much money there. But she has made in sales for her program of the messenger bot. Um, it's called Bot um, Bot Camp. Uh, I think it's coming out soon. So she's made about 40 to 50 sales, which is about $10,000 using the strategies that she's teaching in the messenger bot program that she's got. And she is brilliant. Our community service is brilliant. No, not community service, but our community is brilliant as well. And our customer service is brilliant as well. I've written to her um, about kind of program and stuff like that. I kind of got the program just to see, check it out. I've not gone through all of it yet <clears throat> because I know the basics of the bot and how to use it and using many chat, which I've spoken about before as well. And it's going to become the big thing. I told you a couple of months ago, using Messenger instead of email might be even better for you in, ton, in terms of return on investment. Now, you need to build up your email list, but you need to look at this as well using manychat.com. And I'll put the links up for you and see how it can work for you as well. But Molly here, she made about 40 to 50 sales using this and using the power of her live show as well to speak to her community and to really teach them about the power of the bot as well. And the bot is just a, an automated kind of messaging tool for your messenger and you can get people to sus subscribe and you can send them messages automatically. And obviously you can come in as well and speak to them and use your customer services um, skills as well. So that is going to be huge and it is huge just now. People are just discovering it just now, just how powerful it is. But she found a niche and she's only got 5,000, well, 6,000 likes on a page, but she made in $10,000 in sales from that page. And it's not really much advertising on there. Um, and I was speaking to Jeff Adams about this and it was him that kind of put me on to and just said, have you seen what um, kind of Mo is doing? So I kind of reached out, watched the lives and I thought, this is, this is amazing. So that is the power of community as well. You don't have to have a huge page to make money. Um, obviously, we teach that in um, kind of the YDF program. The bigger the page, the better. But it just shows you you don't need a huge page to make money on. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any questions. If you've got any questions, just to ask away, and I'll see if I can get to them. Um, if you've written a question kind of a couple of minutes ago, write it again. So it's at the top because I'm having to scroll through them um, just now. So yeah, that is the power of community and how it can help you make money as well. And you've seen Max Lee um, from High on Coins on YouTube, um, how he built up his community. But he didn't also, he didn't just do that, building up the community. He managed to get a company called Chaincoin and who does this kind of coin, the cryptocurrency, and built it up from 1.4 million capitalization to 40, well, 10 million capitalization that's standing out just now. It's probably higher than that at the moment because the coin price keeps going up and up and up. And that was because of one person and kind of a vision that he had as well. And he got his community together and we all kind of joined in. Molly Mahoney is doing exactly the same. She's teaching people something really, really useful. And that's what's happened with YDF as well. Building up that community, teaching people something really, really useful. People are passionate about what they do and you're teaching them something really useful. And the you, you know what's happened to YDF. We've got 300 members in there just now. The program was $997, um, but we're, we're doing a, a kind of restructuring for the price um, as well. So that's going to be coming out at the end of this month as well. It's not you missing out if you're in the YDF tribe just now. If you paid $997 for it, it's not you missing out. What we're doing, we're just doing a core program for the YDF program. And you don't get the extras like you've got, um, which are worth a couple hundred dollars each. So you're not going to get that if you just if you kind of join the program at the end of the month. You're just going to get the core program, and you're going to be offered if you want the brilliant Facebook Live system and the other programs we've got in there as well. So don't feel you're missing out if um, if you've kind of bought the nine nine seven. Um, okay, so I'm going to go on to questions just now. Let's see if we have any questions. So we've got a lot of people in just now. 
Right, the comments are sticking. So I don't see any questions there. Laurie Emmett is saying the new structure looks fabulous. Brilliant. Thanks, Laurie. I really appreciate your feedback. As always, always appreciate your feedback, Laurie. And we're still talking about the YDF local business. We're probably talking about that for months to come, but I told you about that last week as well. Okay, it doesn't seem as if there's any questions. I don't know if this, this is stuck just now or what's going on. But if you have any questions about kind of business, about what I've been speaking about there, the power of community, about Molly Mahoney or Max Lee, about what he does. And I want to share Max Lee because he's doing something different. It's not just about kind of all online business. It shows you the power of community outside of online business as well and just exactly what he can do. And he's been doing that on YouTube, building up the, his live kind of viewers. And he gets a couple hundred live viewers every single night. And just like we do here, we get a couple hundred kind of live viewers every day on the YDF show and the CYT live show as well. Um, so I just want to show you somebody outside of the online world. And Molly Mahoney, she's doing exactly the same as well. Um, so I just want to share that with you and just to show you kind of real world examples or real life examples of what people are doing with the power of the community. Okay, the comments are sticking just now, so we might have to leave it there for the moment if we have no questions. Um, Laurie Emmett, why do you think all the great work Molly is doing with lives, etc., isn't translating into new page likes? Um, that's a good question, Laurie. I think, I don't know how much a page is actually built up. So I don't know. I'm just going to check to see if she's got the likes on instead of the community tab. Yeah, she's, so she's got about an 8% engagement rate. But I guess what she's doing... And she's focusing on the live shows. So she's purely focused on the live shows. Is she doing much else with the page? She's not doing what we're doing and building it up. She's building it from the live shows that she's doing. Yeah, it's mostly kind of live shows and there's a few... Yeah. Mostly from the live shows, so she's mostly kind of all about the live. And there's a few kind of quotes in there scattered about as well. But she's not focusing purely on building up a page. She's focusing on the live show part as well. And somebody else does that um, as well, Natalie Masafia. She does focus on the kind of live shows as well. She does obviously kind of quotes in that as well. Um, but she's focused on kind of the live shows as well and she's getting kind of followers that way. So she is getting followers, it's just not, her page is not growing as much because she's purely focusing on the live shows. So it's people that are there um, and then. And I guess 6,000 people, if she's got 6,000 people from the live shows, that's her kind of tribe, that's who she wants kind of buying her program. So she might just be focusing on the kind of potential buyers of the program, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But I just think it's a good thing if you grow your page from social proof point of view and to grow your niche within that page as well. So I guess the more and more people hear about her, the more they will go over and to her and like her page as well. I hope that helps, Laurie. Um, Margie Tucker, community is key. It is definitely key. And those two kind of examples that I gave you is just a proof of that. So much of proof is I thought there were two really good examples and I just came across them over the last week or so. Dina Bidwa, hi Stephen, I'd like to share my knowledge about drama and how to sing, perform on stage, but don't know how to structure a program to teach it. What I would do first, DNA, is teach it um, doing live shows. First of all, we've kind of said this um, all along, you can do a live show maybe once a week or something, start teaching it that way, find out what your audience is asking on your live shows and on your page as well. Find out what, what they want to know and then structure a program about how on the questions that they want to know about. So if you don't have a structure just now, it's probably because you don't know the, your community that well that you don't know the questions they're asking. You don't know what fears they have. You don't know what keeps them up at night. You don't know what hopes and dreams that they have. Once you find out that through their questions, then that's when you can structure a program. So I wouldn't make a program first in the hopes that other people buy it. I would kind of go out and educate first 
gather up all the questions, find out what everybody's asking, and then structure a programme around about that. So I hope that helps, Dana. Jen Atkinson, welcome to you. Um, question, are these additional ways to get more people to watch lives? People from the outside your page, like hashtags. Hashtags on Facebook, do they work? I don't think they work that well, to be honest. Um, I still don't think the, the structure of the search um, functionality in Facebook is really favouring hashtags, but you can do that. I don't think it's going to bring a lot, to be honest, Jen. What you can do, Jen, is share with other people. So you can get a shared agreement just to say, listen, if you share my live show on my page, on your page, I'll share my live show on your page, um, for example. So you could have that going with a couple of people. Or you can share on other people's pages and put it in the visitor section of their page as well. So you can certainly do that as well, Jen. That's another good way to do it as well. But if you don't have a big page, you're probably not going to get a lot of people. Or if you find influencers. So if you find an influencer who's got a lot of influence and they share your live on another page, for example, then because they've got a lot of influence, because they've got maybe hundreds of thousands of likes uh, or a million likes or two million likes or whatever, they can share your pages on other pages as well as their own and you get a lot more viewers in, but you pay them for that. Is it So you've got to ask yourself, is it going to be worth somebody or worth it to pay somebody to do that? In the long run, I think so, if you're going to build up a genuine tribe from that person sharing. So try and reach out to influencers as well. If you know some influencers, they're not really doing lives and you could go onto their page and do a live show. Um, I think Elizabeth Corey had done this as well. She's done that. She's in the YDF tribe. She managed to get a show on another big page because they weren't doing a live show. So think about that as well, Jen. Who could you reach out that's not doing a live show already and just saying, it could be a yoga page, for example. So you go to a big yoga page, they don't do live and just say, listen, I do a kind of live show every week. Would you mind syndicating it? All right, and so you become an admin of their page or a live contributor of their page and you put your live show on their page and you get a ton more viewers in that way as well. So that's a good way to do it as well, Jen. Um, so yeah, think about that. And DNA Bidwa, mm, true, great advice, thank you. Um, thanks for your question, DNA. Really appreciate it. Um, Margie Tucker, ask five people she knows what platform they would prefer and start there. Yes, that's a good suggestion as well. Jane Atkinson, yes, good, good. Cheryl Fletcher Greening, shared. So I'm just going to read out a couple of people who shared if it shows me up here. Ah, no, it doesn't because I've only got 50 comments um, that I can see at the moment. So... I think that's it for today. Unless you have any questions, Jane Atkinson, those are great ideas. And um, thanks, Steve, my pleasure. I joined your program, by the way, Jen. Uh, I've not watched the first one yet. I believe um, that was on July the seventh or something. You posted that. Obviously, I wasn't there because I've just joined. But I joined your program as well. Um, Cheryl Fletcher Greening shared, and eight others shared as well. I can't see who shared. I'm just going to see if I can. Liza Albanita shared, thank you very much. Co Severino, um, Lynn shared, DNA Bidwa shared as well, thank you very much. And that's, that's it just now. Alexandria Steele has shared as well, thank you. So thank you for sharing the video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Jen Atkinson, thanks for joining, Stephen. So excited to have you and Maria on my program. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, I'm not going to be able to see the lives, but I can um, watch the replays as well. Howard Mann, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Howard, for joining us. Really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to let you go just now. And whatever you're doing today, have a brilliant day. And till tomorrow, namaste. Take care. Bye now. <music>